You understand French in writing and reading, but struggle to speak? You don't start a conversation in French or a phrase because you're afraid that you won't be able to finish it. You seem to know a lot of words, but when you get to speak, you get stuck. Does it sound familiar to you? If yes, this video is perfect for you. Coucou mes chers amis, j'espère que vous allez bien. Hello everyone, my name is Anastasia and I had all those problems with French. Every unknown word would freeze me and make me panic, especially during my classes with my students. I was so ashamed to admit that. I see this word for the first time in my life because I'm a teacher and I should probably know all the words, but it's not possible to know all the words do you know all the words of your native language? I doubt that. I don't know all the words of French or English or Russian. So why does it bother us so much every time you read something or listen to something in French, you'll hear new words and you have to get comfortable with that and with this thought. It took me so much time to realize that simple concept. I used to learn a lot of words about business, economics, health, nutrition, just because I thought that would make me speak fluently, that would make me feel confident. But I was wrong. I forgot a lot of those words just because I never got the possibility to use them. So what's the point to learn a lot of fancy words that you never use? Today in this video I want to discuss with you how to learn your words effectively so you can expand your speaking vocabulary and not to learn new words for the sake of it. Before I give you some practical tips and advice, let me get more detailed about two types of vocabulary. Passive and active vocabulary. Passive vocabulary represents all the words in your vocabulary. So all the wor words you've heard of, you've read somewhere, so you encountered at least once in your life. You will probably recognize those words in a book, in an article, or in a song, or whatever. And most probably, you won't be able to use this word in your speech. So it's not gonna be as easy to remember those words, to maybe to find them automatically and to put them into your speech. The second vocabulary type is active. It means that those are the words that, that you know, you use all the time. They are natural to you. Uh, that can be, for example, in French, uh, la maison, uh, je suis, uh, j'ai, uh, croissant, macaron, ma famille. Many people are concentrating on expanding their passive vocabulary. That's why they read, they watch movies, TV shows, and they think that's gonna help them to be fluent in French. Of course, it's good to expand your passive vocabulary to find new words. If you like to do so, just do this. It's really helpful and good. But it's not something that will bring you fastest results, that will advance you right now. Those are 80% of effort that will give you 20% of results, because there are a lot of words out there. If you want to be more confident in speaking French and to be fluent, you need to expand your active vocabulary. You already know a lot of words. Your passive vocabulary is really, really big. And the problem is that you don't use many of those words. But it's not that difficult to expand your active vocabulary. How to do so? Practice, practice, practice. It's not enough just to encounter one word several times in a book or in a speech or in a movie. You need to practice, you need to exercise, you need to do some work and to put some effort. I know it's a boring part, but it will be more effective. That's gonna be 20% of effort that will bring you 80% of result. So it basically, it feels like it's harder, but you'll spend more time just watching movies and reading books, just hoping that it's something that will lead you to confident speaking. It will take more time. Okay, I hope you got that. Let's discuss how we can work on our active vocabularies. What are those exercises that will help us? First thing first, pronounce the word. 
say it out loud several times. It will enable your muscles to remember the right position of the tongue, of the jaw and of the lips for the sounds of this word. It's very important to physically prepare your mouth to pronounce this word. If you're not sure about the pronunciation, you can check it in Google Translate or Forva or in a dictionary. Do it and pronounce it several times. Write it. Some of my students can definitely benefit from just writing a word down. When you just do it with your hand and when you see the word, it helps you memorize it. Make up your own sentences. It's easier to remember a new word when you put some emotion in a phrase with this word. Just try to make something up. For example, you're trying to remember to memorize a new word, uh, l'équipe, une équipe, team, and you make up a sentence. Mon équipe a gagné. My team has won. Use Quizlet or another app with flashcards. Uh, Quizlet app generates for you several different exercises that will help you to memorize new words. Personally, sometimes uh, for me, it's the easiest way to just remember new words. You just, I just open up the app and I just do something and it will help me to memorize and then I maybe I pronounce this word several times and I make up my own sentences so I'm doing it all with Quizlet. I mean they don't ask you to um, to make up your sentences so you can't write them down and get them uh, verified not verified get them corrected if there is something wrong uh, but anyway just while doing those flashcard exercises. I'm just trying to make up something for myself uh, and it's working with me. Do double translations. What does it mean? Some textbooks has those double translations tables. You know, one part is in French, the second part in your native language. You're memorizing uh, the French part and then you're just looking at the English part and you're trying to translate it into French and you can verified. This exercise, actually I love it because it helps you to compare structures of your language and French language and it makes you learn everything, grammar, vocabulary, again pronunciation, sometimes even listening skills if you're working with someone else with a fellow student. But not all books has it, so sometimes you'll have to do all those double translations by yourself. You can find some phrases that you loved in French and you'll translate them. Or you can make up your own sentences again, that's gonna be even better. Next one is to make up your stories. Not only sentences, but the whole stories with your active vocabulary that you're trying to learn. Sometimes those stories will be weird, because you'll have to combine different words that may not be okay all together. But anyway, the funniest, the better for you. I've just got an idea. Maybe you have to do journaling in French. Mm -hmm. It's basically the same as writing stories, uh, but you will just describe what did you do during your day. Yes, it's not speaking, it's more writing, but you can always pronounce everything you write. Yes. Okay, let's sum it up. What can we do to expand our active vocabulary? Say words out loud, write down words, use Quizlet, do double translations, vocabulary stories, and journaling in French. I know some of you will find this video helpful, but also many of you will do nothing after they watch this video. What can you do just right now? Take your phone. Where's my phone? Where is my phone? Here it is. Take your phone, open notes app and write down five or ten words that you hear a lot or you saw in a lot of articles or books but you still don't use this word in your speech. Write them down, put some effort, I know that's gonna take some effort to remember those words or you can look them up somewhere, maybe you already have a, a note with those words, I have them for sure, I have a lot of notes like this, just look at them choose five words or phrases and try to remember them. I mean, make up your sentences, pronounce them. All, you know what you can do? You can learn one word every day. You just start your day with one word in French. You pronounce it, you write it, you make up your own sentence. It's easy to memorize one word, I promise. 
And in one week, you'll know seven words. In one month, you'll know 30 or 31 new words. I think this is great. Learning a language is a process. It's a lifestyle. It's not possible to do everything at once. We can't know every word, but we can work on it. We can learn a word per day. We can get, we can get better every day. Today, I know more than yesterday. Tomorrow, you will know more than today. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, make sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel if you want to speak French with ease, confidence and freedom. Don't forget to write down in comments your 5 or 10 words that you want to memorize. Let's share it with each other and maybe it will help someone to memorize more words and use them actively. And I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Merci les gars, bisous et à bientôt. Au revoir. Oh la la, j'ai failli le paix. You can get my free step-by-step -step guide on how to work on French pronunciation, how to sound French, how to speak with ease and confidence. If you need this guide, it's completely for free. Hover over to the description section. I'll leave the link down below. If there is still no link, please wait a bit. Don't get disappointed and come back later. And as soon as I get over them, I'll put the link down below. I'm saying this right now. So if you're seeing this later, you know that there is this link and this, this free guide that I created for my students. Bon, c'est tout maintenant. Bisous, bisous, au revoir.